The departure of 38-year-old veteran Vincenzo Nibali from Trek Zigafredo at the end of the 2021 season has left a void in the team that many are eager to fill, one more than others. For sure, my role will change because I'll have more responsibilities. Vincenzo Nibali was one of the most important and experienced riders, our leader. So since he's left, it will be my duty to take on a little more responsibility. But this is not an issue and for sure we'll be prepared for anything. Giulio Ciccone started his full season with Trek Segafredo. The Italian climber is now ready to play a pivotal role in the team. Here there's a real family atmosphere. I like it a lot and the team really believe in me. I also believe in this project they're building and I think it's the right team to allow me to grow up, which is what I've been doing for a few years already. It's the right place for me to make the most out of myself. It was not easy to accept what happened last year many times. It wasn't easy to deal with the fact that I had to go home during the last week of the Giro d'Italia and Vuelta Espana too because of these crashes. But 2022 is a different story. The goals this year are the Giro d'Italia and the Tour de France. I'll ride both. The goal is to be back on being competitive and be back winning. I miss it, so my goal is to win. For an Italian rider, the Giro d'Italia is very important because it's a fundamental race. Personally, I'm very attached to it. So I find that I give my best during the Giro and find some extra energy. Ciccone's last stage victory at the Giro d'Italia took place in the 2019 Corsa Rossa on the epic Mortarolo ascent. The iconic climb will feature this year too. It's an important stage. I have good memories on that climb, even if this year we'll ride it from another side and it'll be further from the finish line. But for sure, they're good memories for me. I really like the route of the Giro because it's tough and it's nervous as well. And also the time trials are short, so for sure it suits my characteristics better. The summit finish at Blockhouse will be a very nice stage and I like it a lot because I'll be riding on my home roads. It's always exciting to ride on home roads. It'll be one of the most difficult stages of this Giro, but also very spectacular.